So these released a few years back, but I was finally able to grab me a pair. And after getting these, I'm thinking about getting a few other colorways because I like them very much. Hey guys, welcome back to a Kick Susan's channel. And today we're looking at the Puma Disc Rebirth. And this is what Puma created to bring back the Puma Disc system into the market and into the performance of basketball line. So I was really excited when this one was announced a couple years back. For one reason or another, I was not able to get them uh, close to the release date. And then many other things started to come after that. So slowly I forgot about them. But recently I started thinking about this shoe. So I decided to track it down. And I grabbed this pair off of eBay, brand new, never worn for about $60. So for $60, it was a no brainer. I wanted to really see what exactly they have done with the model. And after having them in my hands and trying them on my feet, I actually am thinking about getting a few of the other colorways just to add them to the collection because I like this model so much. So you're gonna see it on the details. Uh, Puma has done a lot of things with the shoe and I'm really, really enjoying what Puma have been doing in the last two, three, maybe four years, uh, bringing a lot of classic models, mixing a lot of materials, uh, bringing a lot of new and fresh designs at the same time, uh, preserving a lot of their classic identity. And this goes for this shoe as well. Here we are having a lot of modern day uh, materials, a lot of foam, a lot of synthetics, a lot of mesh. Uh, and at the same time, this shoe is coming out with some of the things that we're expecting in the past, uh, like the hook and loop strap for extra containment and obviously the Puma disc system that a lot of us uh, growing up in the early 90s or mid 90s really enjoyed and we are kind of accustomed to see from Puma back in the day. Uh, so a lot of things to be said here. If we start breaking down this uh, pair, you're gonna see that this is definitely uh, speaking volumes to what Puma have been doing uh, with this line with uh, a lot of foam on the midsole, kind of exaggerated, uh, very good outsole. And really when I'm saying very good, this outsole is so sticky and it's so well constructed and so so well done uh, that uh, obviously if you're playing basketball and you're having these on court, uh, trust me, you're gonna be sticking to the floor uh, very nicely. That same pattern, kind of a diamond or a square pattern on the outsole uh, has been seen in several of the other models they have as well. And it's kind of exaggerating towards the toe on the medial side. Uh, and I really like uh, how they've done it. Color combination here, we have white uh, with the orange and the black. And of course the Puma logo is in kind of a vault. In the midfoot section, we have a TPU shank, which I'm not sure if actually extends to the forefoot or heel uh, when it's uh, underneath your foot. But this is the section you only see here. And uh, on the lateral side, the foam is even more. So we're looking about uh, two inches high on the hill. Obviously your foot is not sitting on top of that. It, it's sinking in and it's more like a inch or even less off the ground. But this is uh, done for containment reasons. And we have this uh, orange portion that is kind of a translucent on the lateral side as well. I really like how you can see the materials in the bottom. And the forefoot is mesh. Mesh is good because it's ventilated, obviously, for uh, basketball performance. And those of you that are spending extensive amount of time on the court, uh, ventilation is important. Uh, personally, I'm a huge fan of genuine materials. Leather would have been great, but I understand where they're coming from. I understand what they're trying to achieve with this shoe. So I'm not mad at all about the choices of the materials. And with a mesh and the combination of this synthetic leather on the back, obviously they can do a ton of color combinations and they did over time uh, with this model. I'm a little disappointed that they didn't uh, come up with a second version or the third version because it's been two years and this is the only one that came out. Maybe it was too expensive to make or maybe uh, the popularity was not that big, but personally, I absolutely love it. I love the old school Puma logo disc in the heel and the disc system on the side where the strap is. And the strap is interesting because it's really tight hook and loop strap and extends from the top of the shoe uh, all the way down to your forefoot and on the other side just hooks onto the medial on only one patch so uh, two are going for the, from the lateral one is going on the medial and uh, the rest of it is the puma disc lacing system uh, very easy to operate but if you don't know how to operate it they have done and created a little cheat sheet or kind of information on your medial side uh, right, right where the arch is and says disc system, right to tighten, left uh, click to unlock and pull the tone 
to loosen. So the disc system has seen some evolution over the time. Back in the day when I was introduced, there was different versions. There was a version of it when you uh, tighten it up, uh, it clicks obviously and it tights your shoe. But when you release it, there was a little pull top right on top of it. You pull it up or forward and loosens it up. Uh, some of them were just pressed down on the disc and pull away, that will loosen it up. In this specific one, you just go backwards one time to unlock it and then just pull the tone forward. Obviously all three versions, or maybe there were even more, work as intended. And the only concern for a lot of people back in the day was how long would that uh, this system or that uh, chords, all these chords will last once you start playing. Maybe that's why they created a hook and loop strap just to create a little uh, more security. If you're really putting an effort and a lot of stress onto these uh, chords on the lacing system, maybe they will break off. Obviously with time, they're gonna deteriorate and maybe they will break off as well. I personally never had a Puma disc shoe uh, that uh, I kept for many, many years. So I can tell you what exactly is gonna happen. I have one of the retros that it's approaching 10, 10 years and the disc system is still working with no problem, but you know, expect uh, longevity issues there. Now these are produced in uh, January of 21. So again, like I mentioned, it's been two years since this model come. Uh, on the market and uh, yeah, obviously I'm late to the party. Uh, but if I try to pull out the insole, which is really hard to do, they're glued in and we're looking at about five, six millimeter thick uh, blue Ortolite insole on the bottom, which is always a plus to manage that odor and to manage the moisture accumulating by your feet while you're running in them. Uh, the tone is held like a one piece booty to the bottom as well. It's not completely separated, creating some more comfort. And when you put your feet inside, you don't feel any pinching uh, or any issues. At least that's applying to me. And I went through the size and they fit me perfectly well. There's some extra padding behind the uh, disc of the disc system. So that's eliminating potential discomfort for some people. But I really like this colorway. I have to say this combination of uh, super like bright orange, more like a you know, lighter red. It's kind of hard to pinpoint exactly what it looks in different uh, lighting uh, conditions. It looks different and some vault in the back. Uh, these are loud, these are crazy and they're very modern looking. There's some more subdued color colorways that Puma created and some even louder than this one, which again, I really appreciate. We have the Puma, Puma logo on the side, uh, but these are unusual. And those of you that really want to uh, play with something else, something different on the court. Definitely an option, especially for the price now. But even casual, why not? Personally, I'm seeing myself wearing these. Uh, I really don't care about the trends. I like and wear what I want and what I like. Uh, hence, this one will be going on my feet and I'll be definitely wearing it. Comfort is great. Containment is exceptional. Uh, the grippiness of that outsole is absolutely awesome. Padding and comfort on the inner liner is great. You have a good insole. So for me, for $60, especially right now, these are absolute win and I really like them. So yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Hit the thumbs up if you like the video, stay tuned to the channel, subscribe if you're new, check out some of the other videos coming very, very soon. And as always guys, you have a wonderful day.